engineering videos and technical solutions, BTEC and master engineering thesis guidance, simulation of projects using different software such as MATLAB, PVSYS, Helioscope, ETAP, and many more. Detailed videos on these topics and much more available software such as AutoCAD, Revit, and SketchUp. Be part of our family by subscribing to our YouTube channel, follow us on Instagram, like our Facebook page, and visit our website. PZ Engineering. Passion to excel. Hi. Welcome to the PZ Engineering channel. In this video, we are going to show how to implement the fuzzy logic controller on DC DC back converter in MATLAB Simulink software. If you are not yet part of our family, please subscribe to the channel, share our content, comment and like this video. You can donate our channel as well you can join our membership team in order to have access to our models and have guidance on your project and special attention in your comments. Our fuzzy logic control has a two inputs, has um, a delta D and D delta, and has one output which is duty cycle. Here are our root tables. We have our delta D and we have our delta, and now our D. If you need more information on how to tabulate or how to develop a fuzzy logic control from scratch, you can check our videos where we we did about the two the fuzzy logic the, the fuzzy logic toolbox tool, toolbox. Now let's go. This our model. You can get all these components in our library browser. I'll be introducing each component and the parameters of each component. Here we have our DC voltage source, which is 20 volts. Twenty volt. We have our inductance, which is eleven e to the power minus three. Here we have our resistor as a load, which is one. Here our capacitor is ten to the power e to the power minus six. Here we have our diode it didn't change anything, and you have our MOSFET. Just got it from the library bars and put it there. Here we have our V in and our V out. This is our control, fuzzy logic based on power sharing, our reference voltage, let's put it to 11. Here is our output, the difference comes to memory, you can get from the library browser. And we have our two inputs, that is our two inputs, which is delta D is and D. Here is our fuzzy interference system. That's the name of our fuzzy logic model, which we need to get it from. Now let's get our this it this to DC PW DC to CC. Sorry, speed up generator. Let's edit now our system. Connect up output to the output of fuzzy logic to. Then let's change our switching frequency to 25,000 and our sample time to 5 to the 5 times e to the power 5 minus 5. Let's label as gate.
and let's connect to our switch our MOSFET switch now let's let's export or import our fuzzy lodge we, we, we already did the model we can check our link how to develop the model you write fuzzy at the command window then you come to the file import from what you import from where you uh, save it here is our bug here you go we have our two inputs error and d error those are the 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 input range the error and the error and we have our duty cycle as the output here we have our rule our conditions which are in that table you can you can check in our description below we have our view rule rulers our view rule and then we check our view phase those are our view phase now let's export to the to the work to our work phase now let's go back there now open our fuzzy logic let's write the same as the name of the C back sorry for a w then we connect okay now it's okay we just check the system is there now our system is ready to run please don't forget to subscribe to the channel share our content comment and like this video and as well can then donate to our channel so that we can continue improving ourselves and join our membership team now let's run our system as our reference our input voltage is 20 volt and our reference voltage is 11 This is our rule view. Now let's check the result. The reference voltage is 11, and we are getting plus or minus 11. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, share our contents, comment, and like this video.